Welcome to the channel and welcome to season 11. It was five years ago I began dabbling with videos about my life in Ecuador. By the time we got to November 2016, I started making serious topical videos. As of today, we're about 18 subs away from 3,000. While a small number in the world of YouTube, my videos are for a narrow audience and so I'm happy with it. Some of you have been with me since the very beginning, and I really appreciate it. I know the quality was horrible. I know the sound was even worse. But over time, I've taken those contributions and I kept improving. As a kickoff to season 11, I'll be doing a series of videos about a place I always wanted to visit, and now I finally have. I want to give a special thank you to Mark and Manizales. Without his donation of hotel points, I could not have gone. As it is, I busted my budget several times over, but I think it was worth it. Bucaramanga is a magnificent city. I'll be breaking the videos down into sections. Today I'm going to do an overview. It'll be a highlight of the questions people most often ask at first. After that, and not in any particular order, I'm going to drill down on the city, giving you some history, a little bit of me walking around the city, a look at a few of the city parks, one of the best malls in Colombia, or so they claim, and a look at the buildings there. I'll also be doing a video on my trip there and back to give you some idea what it's like to take a long bus ride in Colombia and also how they handle the virus. Bucaramanga is in the north central part of Colombia. It's about 3,200 feet in elevation, not much different than Cali actually, but what a difference in the climate. Bucaramanga was officially designated a city in 1622 by the Spanish although it actually existed long before. It's known for its coffee, tobacco, textiles, and mostly shoes. And it also has this huge oil exploration operation by EcoPetrol. Its population today is 580,000 in the city itself. However, the cities of Giron and Florida Blanca have nearly merged and the entire metropolis is about 1,150,000 people. Bucaramanga has the highest GDP per person of any city in Colombia. Also has the lowest unemployment rate. The city has two informal names. The first is Colombia's beautiful city. And it certainly is that. The second is the city of parks. And there's more than 160 of them in the city. Fun fact! Bucaramanga is famous for its big butt ants. Uh, that's translated to English. These are unique to the area and have been eaten for centuries. They're unusually high in protein and make a great export product around the world to countries like Japan. Now on to the question that's first or second on everyone's list. Cost. Okay, first I need a disclaimer. I was only there for five days. I did my best to give it a fair evaluation. But like everything in Colombia, there's no easy answer. Much depends on how you live, where you shop. However, I can point to a few things that stood out. Rents seem to be fairly similar to the coffee region, although there is a large supply of very high-end high-rises with a cost to match. But looking at a relatively middle-of-the-road three-bedroom, I found prices to be about 400,000 Colombian pesos more than in Armenia, but about the same or less as in Medellin. I would say it's similar to Manizales. I found the utilities seem to be quite a bit more. I checked with locals, I checked online prices for gas, electric, and water. Health clubs and movies are quite a bit more, partly because the locations are in very high rent, beautiful spots. Taxis are more than Armenian Pereira. The minimum charge is 5,500. I'll caution you, be sure of the rate that you pay. The meters in Bucaramanga are unique to the place. 
and the number that you see on the screen is not the actual rate. I don't know what the number is, but it's a different thing. And it's much higher than what the rate would be. It's only two digits, and it goes up like a taxi meter would go up. There's a button. You have to tell them to press the button, and then you'll see the real rate. The drivers are not as friendly or as honest as I find in the coffee triangle, and they're more than happy if you are new to forget that that button's there and charge you based on what you're seeing on the first screen. The other question of the two most ask is crime. Is it safe? For this, I could give you my general feel, but I also ask a number of locals as well as I look through newspapers and some online information. Bucaramanga is considered to be one of the safest, larger cities in Colombia. In doing the research, I actually think it's very similar to Armenian Manizales. Again, it has its areas to stay away from. I walked most of the city, <laughs> and my legs still haven't recovered. But I would say the sketchiest areas were in the north or northwest part of the city. In the daytime, I think you're very unlikely to run into a problem, but in all cities, I would suggest using some common sense and caution in the evening. I went out on one night and took a long walk. It was about, I don't know, 14 blocks out, and then I came back on a different route, 14 blocks coming back. At no time did I see anything of concern, but then again, it was around 9 p.m. in a nicer part of town. The last thing I'll mention, and maybe the most disappointing to me, is the people. Well, I cannot say there was anything in particular wrong. I can tell you it has a big city feel, and regular viewers know I'm not a big city kind of guy. For most people, that wouldn't be an issue. For my personality, I prefer it a bit friendlier. People just go about their business without noticing much else. Taxis will run you over if you aren't careful. Don't stop and wait for you to cross the street like here in Armenia. But to be fair, it isn't much different than most cities in the U.S. Hey, it's a city. I mean, what can you expect? The summary of this overview was that it is a beautiful and amazing city with nice climate, lots of beautiful places, and reasonable costs to live there. It's a fairly flat city to walk. I can also tell you that while the elevation is close to Kali, it's nowhere near as hot. That's due to the cool breeze coming off the mountains. Now, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this. I, I, I've struggled with this. I heard it a bunch of times. The area of Kachike is particularly cooler than the northern part. This is down where the mall is. I'll go into more detail in another video. I could see how this would be a perfect place for many people. I certainly would re recommend checking it out. Or at the very least, high on the list to visit. I mean, this is a must-see city in Colombia. Stay with this channel to see the upcoming topics on the beautiful city of Bucaramanga. It has some very special aspects to it. If you're not subscribed, please do so as YouTube often is burying content from smaller producers. And I'm a smaller producer. Okay, see you in the next coffee time.